Automatic. Face centered. Speech off. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Um, I'm praying that you've been having a wonderful month of May. Um, what do we celebrate? We kick this month off with Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day. Um, we're ending the month with Memorial Day weekend. So lots of fun, fun, fun. We just ended semesters of school, getting ready for that summer break for the kiddos. So yeah, let's enjoy it. This is spring, guys. This is the middle of spring. Um, June 22nd makes the first day of summer. So I wanted to get on here with you guys and talk to you a little bit about um, spiritual living. I am going to be doing um, moments of thought, moments of inspiration, moments of motivation for the rest of this month. And we'll just see where it goes. I actually had wanted to start something like this a while ago. I want to say last year. I was like, I need to just get on here every day and say something. And I did a few shorts videos. Um, I think I called them Faith Talk. Um, and so I'm back and I'm committed. And that's what I'm being led to do for the month of May. And then we'll just see how that goes, okay? Um, each of us are facing... Um, so much and when I'm saying so much I'm saying every single day we're picking up where we left off the day before and it's called our journey it's called our purpose it's called um, our path right and um, depending on how we're processing it like how we're interpreting it how far we're getting in our purpose on our journey um, is how we rest and how we wake up ready or not to face for the next day it's so important to be connected to yourself to know yourself to understand yourself to be able to communicate yourself to process who you are, to accept yourself, strengths, weaknesses, all of it, um, because you need to stay in constant communication with God, the Most High God. That is your superpower. The Holy Spirit is your superpower, and you're not going to make it if you don't stay in constant relationship and communication with God, the Most High God. You're not going to make it. If you do not protect your ear gates and your eye gates, that means what you're listening to, who you're listening to, what you're meditating on, what's replaying in your head, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit, all of that goes into how you process yourself and how far you get in your plan, in your purpose, on your path, in your journey. So it's so important that you stay guarded and that you have a circle, a small circle, because even if you think, oh, I'm a loner, I'm not gonna have a circle, I don't want that. You still have a circle, whether it's parents, siblings, um, neighbors, coworkers, someone you're interacting with every single day and that becomes your circle so spiritual living means that you start off and you continue this communication on a higher level so you're connecting with the most high god and you're saying this is what i got going on this is what's on my mind take over take over father let my thoughts be run by you. Let my motivation be run by you. Let my interpretation be run by you. And then you ask God to speak for you, to speak through you, that you're sensitive to his guidance and be in a place of thankfulness and rejoice that God is available to you. 
And so when you do that, then you understand that you have angels that are assigned to your life and you communicate and you stay in communication with your angels all day long. And as you're going through, you're praying without ceasing over everyone in every circumstance. You're not taking anything for granted and you're not taking anything in the idea of, I, I got this, I don't need any protection here. I don't need any covering here. I don't need any anoint, anointing here. Um, I got this part. You don't. You don't have any of them. You don't have any of the parts. That's why we live by faith and not by sight. That's why it is impossible to please God without faith because we're saying that without him, we're nothing. Without him, we're not able to accomplish a thing. So we need you, right? We need you, Daddy God in all things and we're thankful and grateful in all things we're thankful and grateful to have a roof over our heads sleep in our own bed take a bath i mean life will get you to the place where you praise god about taking a nice warm bath hallelujah you will be thanking and praising god while you're eating grapes or strawberries might as well be steak you're so thankful and you're so grateful because you've been through so much and you're so amazed at how you came out on the other side in your right mind. So as we rise above emotions, emotions, emotions make you cry sometimes. <laughs> Remember that? Guys, when we rise above that into the thinking of God and we just want peace, blessed are the peacemakers. When we decide, oh, you know what? Whatever you want, God, have your way. I'm in agreement with your purpose for my life, your plan. However you want that executed, please, would you drop it into my soul? Would you drop it into my mind so that I only think that way, that I only go that way? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is just so important that you connect with your superpower, which is the Holy Spirit, which is God Almighty, and that you utilize what is available to you, which are your angels, using your words in the affirmative. That means that you're not confused about it and you're not speaking in the conditional. You're speaking in the definitive word of God. You're meditating both day and night, Joshua 1 and 8. You're sure in all things, Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 through 7. You understand that all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord, right? Romans 8:28. Like, you are sure that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Almighty shall abide under the shadow of the Most High God, right? Psalms 91, like, it's like you, you have a better experience when you keep God involved when you're consciously making the decision to bring God into everything before during and after staying covered that is spiritual living when you understand to respect respect everyone and also maintain your respect retain your standard that's how you manifest you speak you think and you retain and then you will see a shift in your life where you're around like-minded individuals and you all are thriving and increasing and you have more peace and patience and the fruits of the spirit will be your guiding light That'll be your constant experience. Peace, love, joy, gentleness, self-control, sound mind, faithfulness, kindness, right? 
you all of those things, long suffering, that'll be your constant place, your constant mode of activities. Like that'll just be second nature to you because when you keep doing something, you master it. It becomes second nature. You don't have to think about it. So when you're going through whatever the day presents, you can take a deep breath and instead of dwelling in frustration, annoyance, um, anger, right? All these different emotions. You can take a deep breath and say, take over. Thank you, Lord, for handling it. Thank you, Lord, you already knew I was going to be here. So you've already provided the answer, the perfect solution. Thank you for bringing the right person. Thank you that when I have this conversation, before I have this conversation, you bring the angel Thank you, Lord, that the angel is my account representative. The angels are my advocates. The angels are my counselors. The angels are my account representatives. I mean, pray over everything. You thank the Lord all the way up and down the street. Thank you, Lord, for my coming and my going. Thank you for a great, not after you get there. Oh, thank you, I got here safely. No, you praise God and speak in the affirmative before you go. Thank you, Lord, for an amazing driver. Thank you for a blessed trip. Thank you, Lord, for covering us every... Real quick, I have been in several car accidents in my life. At least 10. Literally, in the last year, I've been in three. To my recollection right now, I've been in three. I told the Lord about... I think it was three years ago. I told the Lord three years ago after an accident on Super Bowls, no more car accidents. I said, I'm finished with that. Literally, I pray. And literally, he answers, hallelujah. Literally. Stop recording.